Discuss all this now with Nancy Skinner, syndicated radio talk show host, and Jason Lewis, a conservative syndicated radio host. Good to have you both here. Uh, Nancy, he, he laid out, uh, hi, he laid out very specifically uh, what his charges are. Clearly, his argument is going to be sort of along the lines of Reagan Carter in 1980. Are you better off than you were when you elected this man, when you elected Barack Obama? He says no. <laughs> Well, clearly the answer to that question is yes. And, and what Mitt is doing is laying out the case of how badly President Bush screwed up our economy to get us to this point and how much he has had to do. Look, he faced a liquidity crisis, a run on the banks, a collapse of the auto industry, a collapse of the commercial market, uh, so many uh, factors he had to deal with, a war in Iraq. What has he done? He, he has, you know, and he's said even sometimes imperfectly, Fixed all those. The auto companies are back to being profitable. The banks are liquid. Uh, you know, it, the uh, GDP went from negative six uh, points to positive right. six points. Uh, it, jobs it, are slowly growing. He's done. How could you? <laughs> you know, the, what can you say about what he hasn't done? I guess, I guess first of all, Jason, the tricky part of that is, you know, more than two years in, it'll be three years by the time we get around to this real election. Uh, it's going to be pretty tough to pin anything on the prior administration at that point, I would assume. Jobs are slowly growing, maybe the understatement of the year, Nancy and Martha. Yeah, of course, this is like uh, Carter blaming Ford, and then four years later, he still hadn't got us out of the 70s malaise, and Reagan was elected in a landslide. Now, there's a grain of truth that, that the TARP bailout started with Bush, but the problem with Nancy's point is that Barack Obama doubled down on all of the bad policies. He doubled down on the auto bailouts. He doubled down on TARP. TARP was scheduled to expire. And Geithner and President Obama extended it. The deficit was $455 billion, not good when he took office. Now it's $1.6 trillion. The stimulus plan was supposed to lower unemployment below 8%. It's still hovering around 9%. Yeah. I mean, uh, this you is know, a little... I think little... so much of this is going to come down to how people feel uh, when they go in there and they pull that lever in terms of whether or not the country's on the right track or the wrong track. I just looked up the most recent numbers uh, in some of the polling. Uh, Rasmussen, 66% of the country, Nancy, believes that we're on the wrong track. And that, obviously, you know, when you just look at the numbers and over the course of presidential history, that's a very tough number if you're, if you're trying to be reelected, as is this employment number. Historically, it's very tough to get reelected with an unemployment number. Uh, North of eight percent. You know, Rasmuth, Rasmuth and polls are, are conservative, notoriously. Uh, Bush had a, a, a fifty-six percent approval last week. He killed Bin Laden. Bush was and Cheney were going to smoke him out of his hole. Uh, Obama killed him. Okay, and, 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 and Lewis's point on auto industry. Now, the auto industry not only is profitable; they're paying back all their loans. They have Chevy Volts. They have all new electric vehicles. We are. We are <laughs> Okay. But just looking, Nancy, just looking at the numbers, the world, and Jason, yeah. today, you, you speak to this too. You know, I, I mean, I'm just, I'm purely looking at the, the different numbers, different polls that are out there. Rasmus is not alone in that number uh, in terms of, of right track, wrong track numbers. A lot of them are, ve are not really where you would expect them to be. But the question is going to be, you know, do you feel better off? And that, that's a tough right. measure. And I'm not sure that the economy is within the president's purview to the extent that people put it on presidential elections. But, Jason, you know, just historically looking at this, he's, 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 it's an uphill battle at this point. There are a couple of, there are a couple of para parallels, but first, the auto industry bailout may be 16, 18 billion. We found that out today, so uh, those numbers are still coming in. But Bush 41, after the first Mideast war, his approval rating was 91 percent. And a couple of years later, Bill Clinton beat him uh, because of a ostensible uh, decline in the economy. Uh, the other par parallel is Ronald Reagan inherited a recession from Jimmy Carter, and he did just the opposite of this administration. He did not embark on a big spending Keynesian stimulus plan. He tried to cut spending, he cut taxes, he cut regulation, and he told Paul Volcker to rein in the money supply. Now we're getting rising prices with rising unemployment. We've got stagflation that does not bode well for any incumbent. Yeah, I'm just looking at the right track, wrong and, track and, across and the board, basically, in terms of real clear, Nancy. Just so you know, uh, it goes basically from 50 
percent to 66 percent in terms of wrong track across the the Real Clear Politics averages. So uh, it, you know it's an interesting measure. It sometimes can tell but us something. Real Clear, you're, you're you're quoting Real Clear Policy and Rasmussen. Okay, Let, let's look at New York Times, uh, Wall Street Journal. Well, this has NBC poll. News. This, this, this is an average, Nancy. Okay, it's, that's a different. Uh, poll. Can I just tell you what's in the ones I just quoted, Nancy? Long. Nancy, because you just made a charge. I want to answer it. In in the mix of the of those polls for right track, wrong track is NBC News, Associated Press, Newsweek, uh, Daily Beast. Uh, and Reuters and Rasmussen. Okay, uh, just just to be on the record, those are the polls that are included in the Wall Real Street Clear Journal, average owned by your company. All right, Wall we'll Street check Journal. We'll, we'll look at those two. I'm telling you that when you look at the average of all of these, that's where it is. I'm not. I can't make up the numbers. The numbers are in front of me. Okay. So anyway, uh, it, it's an. You know, we're going to have this discussion as we go forward. Are you better now? off now than you were <laughs> four years ago? Is going to be central to all yes, of this. So it's a good discussion to have. I think, uh, 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 despite your polls, I will answer yeah, that go. unequivocally. Equivocally, yes. Right. People are better off than they were four years ago. They, that, they didn't have jobs. They were worried that their their whole right. life savings, their four hundred one k's, were dead. All no. right, Nancy. Thank you very much, uh, Jason. Thank you. Well, that conversation will be continued.